Greetings, favorites. Anonymous here. Uh, we're going to be going into our velocities again pretty soon. I haven't done any videos on velocities, the two-person exercises in our system, um, for a very long time. And uh, so we are getting to that part in the, the, the new videos for the formulas uh, for Shicho. And I uh, wanted to go over a little bit about what they were really intended for and what they're like. So <clears throat> they are, the velocities that we use are basically uh, two person exercises which are choreographed to a certain point, meaning that you have a set number of strikes going to specific areas and all of that. And um, that offers us um, a interesting learning environment. Um, when we are doing the two person exercises um, where we don't have to worry about trying to figure out what the other person is trying to do. We can kind of focus on getting our technique and our timing down really, really, really perfect. It also gives us an idea of what it feels like, what it looks like, what the entire thing about fighting really is about and kind of gets it into a kind of visceral reaction to you so you kind of know how fast do I have to get my saber from one spot to the other. Um, <clears throat> so those are, those are other two things. Um, we, uh, use, using footwork, being able to now use your footwork not just in moving yourself around within the imaginary point, but now you actually have an opponent there, you have somebody that's blocking your way. If you and your partner's footwork doesn't match, you're gonna become out of sync. So there's all of these things um, that happen. Now they are repetitive, and they are rehearsed, so they're not free fighting. So, well, a lot of people kind of, they will, these exercises will degrade into that. And we don't want, really want to let that happen. Um, the constrained nature of the drills make it much easier to kind of learn the lessons that are kind of being set out in those particular drills. And when you're working with a partner, um, we usually do eye protection and hand protection at least um, when we're doing the velocities and stuff. So if you are putting them together with friends, be very, very careful. Stay a little bit out of range so even if you miss, you're not gonna hit each other. Um, that being said, you also want to be targeting the, your, your opponent. And that's another th great thing that velocities do. It allows us to, in kind of real time, folk our sh fo uh, shift our focus, um, find our target, and launch an attack all kind of at the same time. And that's much more difficult than a lot of people uh, th think it sounds if they've never done it before. So it's kind of a good kind of stepping stone. Um, so there you go. A little bit of an introduction to the velocities. Um, Hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more videos in that respect. We've got some tutorials coming out um, very soon on that. And um, feel free to use them, learn from them, figure out uh, stuff to do with them. Um, we'll probably revisit this, uh, the topic at a later date, but until now I think that's pretty good. So, from everybody here at Terra Prime, which is me right now, have a great day, happy saving.